Witness the magic of Canva speed painting. It's so simple too. You can transform any image to an animated drawing, which is really beneficial for providing a sneak peek of an upcoming announcement or an upcoming video, or even just marketing a video that's already out. Check this out. I am just going to go to a social media, to Instagram. We can pretty much do this with any size, but I want to show you this on a square post and go down to the apps section on the left side panel. Type in speed paint. This is the app that we're going to use. You convert any image to a speed drawing video. I've already got it connected. You're going to choose a file and I can't state this first part enough. If you've designed it in Canva, you must download it to your device because when you choose your file, what you need to do is choose it from your device. You can't choose it from a project within Canva. Then you're going to choose your overall smoothness. Do you want it to be 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second. Keep this in mind that the higher your frames per second, the longer it's going to take for speed painting to work. Your sketch duration. We're going to leave it at five seconds, but you could choose, you could choose your sketch duration to be one, three, five, ten, or even 20 seconds. And what this means is it's the time that it takes for the sketch to appear in drawing form. And then we're going to choose the color fill duration. Click this arrow. You can choose to not color fill it, which would mean that it wouldn't get these bright purples, the greens and everything within it. Three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds. We're just going to choose three seconds here. You can change the background color. I'm just going to leave it at white. It's going to be covered up anyway. And you can add a sketching hand effect if you want. I personally prefer the sketching hand effect not to be there. And you can add a fade out effect, which means that at the end of the drawing, it's going to fade in to the picture. And so I love that effect. So we're going to click animate. Expectations of speed painting. Just because they call it speed painting doesn't mean this process is speedy. It, it's not going to be just like this. There is a lot of heavy work that's going on. It also depends on how many frames per second you've chosen, how long your video is going to be, and also keep this in mind. Even though I chose five seconds and three seconds, my video is not going to be eight seconds. It's going to be longer than that because I also included the fade out effect. So we will see what that looks like when it does come up. I do want to share with you a few more things while it's processing because yes, it's still processing in the background. It is important to stay on this page. Don't start flipping around. I'm not going to click on elements right now because if I do, it will stop this process. So that is very, very important. Let it do its job. Take this time to go get a glass of water. Run to the bathroom. Do what you need to do while this is working and you can't do anything else. Speed Paint has successfully uploaded the media to your library. These speed painting files will be added to your uploads file. So just go to uploads and you can go to video and here they are. If you hover over them, you can see what they are. You can even rename them. Y'all, I don't know if you can hear this, but there are cars like zooming down the street like they're going to the racetrack or something. I'm never going to be able to finish this tutorial because I keep having to pause for the cars. But here it is on the blank canvas and I'm just going to make it larger and I'm going to let you see what it looks like. And here is the drawing. And you can see it's color filling in. And then once it does that, it will do a fade in effect, which it's doing right now and it fades to the picture. So this particular video 
I chose five seconds and five seconds, but you're going to notice that it is 17.7 seconds. And that's because it's 60 frames per second. Like all these little things added together make this longer. If I had chosen a less like three seconds instead, or even 15 seconds, it would be a lot longer. The benefit of using something like this instead of a static image is that it is more engaging for your audience. I want to show you a couple more things. This was a square image. If you put in like a thumbnail image, it's actually going to create a 16 by 9 video. The same would happen if you put in a vertical picture. It would create a vertical video, which would be really good for Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. You get the picture. So the other thing that you can do is create a GIF. And I'm just going to get rid of these and I want to show you what it would look like. Here we go. We're going to click share, download, and make sure your file type is GIF. So when you click the down arrow, you can see your options here and you can download it. So I'm going to click image. I'm going to select that GIF. I'm just going to click post. You see, like that went in too big for the community tab, but if for some reason it was, then there's a couple things that you could do. You could click playback and speed it up so that it is a little bit shorter. You could click on this and reduce the size of the GIF, and that would also reduce the file size. So those are two different things that you could do. And reducing the size is a Canva Pro feature. And as a community canvassator, I have a 30-day free trial linked in the description of this video if you don't have Canva Pro and you want to give it a try. Now, what's the problem with speed painting? It's not always available. I was using it the other day with my friend Sharon trying to flush out the details of today's tutorial and got this. Due to high demand, the Speed Paint app is temporarily unavailable. But guess what? A couple minutes later, I was able to uh, use it and I got what I needed. So if you're really having trouble with Speed Painting app, then just Come back to it and try it again later. The other problem that you might find is that this is longer or shorter than you want. And there is a way to fix that. Click playback. You can slow down the speed so that it goes slower, or you can speed it up so that it goes faster. So watch this number right here. It's at 8.8. .8. That's the fastest that it will go for what I chose. Or look one minute and 10 seconds when the original one was 17.7 .7 seconds. If you decide you don't like something, like you don't want the hand there, you can't remove the hand. You would just have to redo everything and just make sure that you do not add the sketching hand effect. The website is undergoing maintenance, so I can't show you the different options that are available on the website versus Canva, but there are a couple of variations. For example, there is an additional hand that you could use. Watch this next to see what other AI tools Canva offers that's going to help you with your YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!